the announcement this morning that Josh Berry will be full-time in the NASCAR Xfinity Series for Junior Motorsports in 2022, it begs the question, which of the four drivers right now at Junior Motorsports are out? Or three full-time drivers. The eight car bounces around, and Junior's actually making his only start of the season at Richmond on September 11th. But who's going to be out among the three full-time drivers? I'm going to give a rundown of their careers so far and tell you why I think the guy that I think is out, well, is out. So first, let's start off with Justin Allgaier, definitely the most successful so far. Well, none of these three guys have a championship. allgaier has been the most consistent, and he's made it to the championship four. He is uh, definitely, he, he has cup experience in 2014 and 2015 at H. Scott Motorsports. And yeah, experience. He's been driving in Xfinity for a long time. He was even with Turner Scott Motorsports before going over to JRM. So I really don't think Justin Allgaier is going to be the one ousted. The team be losing a ton of experience, a ton of talent, and I just think Allgaier and Junior have a great relationship, and I think Allgaier is pretty loyal to JR Motorsports. So then we gotta look at the young gun, Noah Gregson. Well, Gregson has been really good in his first two full-time years, or three full-time years, or whatever it is. I think there's still room for improvement. He hasn't won a race yet this season, I don't believe, and if he has, you can fact check me in the comments. But. I just think his performance has taken a step down from 2020, and while it has taken a step down, I see no reason why Junior Motorsports should out G Noah Gregson. Now the other thing is, other than Junior wanting them out, these guys don't really have a desire to go to Cup right now. I still think Gregson needs another year in development, and I don't know who he would drive for because it's not like JRM's going Cup racing in 2022. I think Allgaier just kind of wants to chill out in Xfinity, and, well, Michael Nett? Seeing as how bad his cup tenure was, at least in 2015 anyway, I don't think he wants to go back cup racing. And that brings us to Michael Nett, who I think is the logical option to be out. Now you might be saying, what do you mean? Is there still going to be a part-time car? Well, no. As far as we know, Sam Mayer and Josh Berry are both going to be full-time for Junior Motorsports in 2022. So, four full-time cars. You got three full-time drivers there right now with two more coming in. And why is Michael Nett the obvious choice? Well, he's just been kind of there. He's never been bad by any means. He is a very successful NASCAR driver, but he's never really lit it up either. He's not a guy that wins a ton. He's not a guy that's consistently in the top five or top 10, but he's usually in that top 12 to top 15 area. And he will grab a few top fives and a boatload of top 10s, but he's not explosive. He's not a guy like Ty Gibbs who can go win three races in a 10-race stretch. He's not a guy like Allgaier who can consistently gather up a couple or three wins every season. And he's not like Noah Gregson, who even when he isn't winning, is consistently running top five or top eight or so. So, I think Michael Nett's the obvious choice, unless he wins the championship. Now, it's a question of Michael Nett even getting into the playoffs this year, and I know it's not all his fault from a driving ability, but still, unless he wins the championship this year, or comes up just short in the championship four, I really don't see why Junior will want Michael Nett back. And that's no knock on Michael Nett. He's a very successful NASCAR driver, in my opinion. He's been solidly consistent, but it's not the standards that JR Motorsports drivers are held to. He isn't in the championship battle each and every year. In fact, I don't think he's ever even made the championship four. And I'm not sure if he's ever even mounted the round of eight. Or if he has, it wasn't very often. It's only been a time or two. So I think Michael Nett is the obvious choice. Now, if you're saying, what has Sam Mayer done to deserve the ride? Well, he won in his first truck start, or close to his first truck start at Bristol. While he hasn't been great in the eight car this year and the couple starts he's made, I still see why Junior would want a younger driver and a driver that possibly has more potential than an aging Michael Nett behind the wheel. And Josh Berry? Well, he won at Martinsville. So, I think that's all you need to know to sign the guy. And he's been very good at all the other races he's done as well. So, I think that's why Michael Nett is out in 2022 at JRM. Let me know your thoughts on who's going to be out in the comments below, but do so respectfully and just have civil conversations with your peers. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and visit our website StubsCupSeries.com. I'm Samuel Stubbs from StubsCupSeries.com. God bless. Peace out. Bye. Subscribe. Thanks for watching. I just saw something from Junior Social Media that hinted they could be five cars next year, so this video might or might not just be, um, like, 
non, um, not, not, I don't know, but this video could be worthless actually, but it just enjoyed anyway. <laughs>